If you are someone who experiences mom rage or you feel like you're just an angry mom, then today's video is for you. Hi, homemakers. My name is Kiri with the Transformed Homemakers Society, and my mission is to help homemakers go from overstimulation and chronic stress to a peaceful and thriving home so that they can serve their families and the Lord. Over the years, I've had my own major transformation in my homemaking, going from overstimulated, highly sensitive, and chronically stressed to cool, calm, collected, and unbelievably fulfilled in my role. Now I help other homemakers have their own transformations. If you're interested in working with me, then please check out the free workshop in the link down below. So in this video, first I'm gonna explain what mom rage is, then I will tell you what causes mom rage, and finally I'll give you four tips to combat mom rage. So what is mom rage? If you're asking yourself this question, then you probably don't experience it or you just haven't experienced it yet. And if you do experience mom rage, I don't even need to give you an explanation. You've lived it out and for that, I'm so sorry. Because as someone who has experienced this herself, I know how dreadful it can be. Real quick though, I'm gonna give you a quick explanation of what it is. Poppy therapy describes mom rage as that seething, hot, unrestrained, explosive anger that shows up sometimes at even the smallest things. These angry outbursts in response to daily life make many moms feel that they aren't doing a good job parenting their child or like something's wrong with them. Further, they describe the feeling of mom rage as difficult to control. It's intense and explosive, making you want to throw something or scream. You might have outbursts or irritable responses that are out of character for you, and it's usually not a one-time thing, but more like a consistent feeling of simmering anger under the surface, making you feel on edge, annoyed, and at risk of yelling or snapping at your child, family, or partner at any moment. You might even feel surprised and frightened by the strength of your anger at times. Okay, I don't know about you, but the descriptions that resonated the most with me were makes moms feel like something's wrong with them, a constant feeling of simmering anger under the surface, and the biggest one for me, surprised or frightened by the strength of your anger at times. So, whether you're looking at a blog post, YouTube video, listening to a therapist, mentor, or counselor, or wherever else you're turning to for help with your mom rage, you'll likely hear that mom rage is due to unmet needs or expectations, a lack of self-control, or that you're burdened by too much mental load, or that you're overstimulated, or maybe that you have postpartum depression, or a whole host of other reasons that may or may not actually be contributing to your mom rage. But I'm here to tell you that there is a deeper reason you experience this uncontrollable rage. You aren't just an angry person. You don't simply need more self-control. And you actually can handle the stimulation required of a homemaker. God literally designed you that way. And you can totally handle the mental load of this role. What you're actually experiencing is a chronic state of limbic system impairment, or otherwise known as fight or flight mode, which in turn makes these triggers that you're experiencing signal to your brain that you're in real danger and you need to react in a destructive manner. These are all learned behaviors developed over time and for a reason that your brain deems necessary for survival. However, they're no longer necessary and are what I call in my course, old destructive patterns or ODPs. The limbic system is the part of the brain involved in behavioral and emotional responses, especially when it comes to behaviors we need for survival, such as feeding, reproduction, caring for our young, 
um, and our fight and flight responses. Your limbic system becomes overreactive, creating stress responses as a mechanism to protect yourself. This often occurs subconsciously, so we don't even have time to think about the reaction with our rational brain. Does any of this sound familiar? I remember times when I would react to something and think to myself afterwards, there is no way I could have exercised more self-control in that moment. I had zero time to even think about how to respond. So sometimes our limbic system tries to protect us from the past, like a past emotional trauma, injury, or infection. The limbic system, though, is also trying to control our future experiences. Your limbic system is just trying to protect you. However, in doing so, it often creates chronic stress responses, which has many symptoms associated, which we'll go into those now. So what symptoms do you get with a chronic stress response or impaired limbic system? Anxiety, panic and mood swings, autoimmune diseases, brain fog, chemical, light, smell, and EMF sensitivities, difficulty with healing injuries, difficulty with processing pain, digestive issues, food sensitivities, immune dysregulation, like the inability to fight um, an infection, and the list really goes on. An impaired limbic system causes autonomic nervous system dysfunction, which can cause all kinds of issues throughout the body, which seem unrelated, but are actually caused by an impaired limbic system. Okay, <laughs> so that all sounds terrifying and depressing, right? But I have a battle plan for you, and I'm going to give you four tips to combat mom rage so that you never have to hear, mama, why are you so angry? Or anything of the sort coming out of the sweet mouths of your little blessings. So the first tip is to think about how you would parent if Jesus were right there with you or if one of your friends were right there with you. So just go about your day imagining you had Jesus right there with you um, and or a good friend. Maybe someone that you really respect and admire their parenting would be even better. So that's one tip. This is a little brain game which helps you to renew your mind and to right thinking, thus right acting. The second tip is to connect with your children more. The more I pour into my children, honestly, the harder it is to be angry at them. So to do this, um, one of the things I really like to do is dance with them. <laughs> We turn Bible songs up really loud. We get on the coffee table and dance like crazy. We jump around, sing along, and I swing them around and we just have a good time. Something else I do is if I have a particularly whiny or disobedient child, I will actually draw them nearer to me, which is the opposite of what the flesh wants to do, which is seclude them from the rest of the family. But I will actually take the time to take that child, put them on the counter while I cook, or have them help me with the you know cleaning that I'm doing, or sit with me while I'm doing my quiet time, and just connect with them. And just them being close to you is going to fill their little cup, and they're going to become a new child within no time. And then also I feel more connected to them, which makes me less angry at them. And I can actually relate to them more easily because let's face it, we all tend to be whiny and disobedient at times, right? <laughs> okay, so the third tip is to create more margin in your day so that you can slow down. This is related to the previous tip because in order to connect with your children, you need to slow down and actually have that margin in your day. So when we're constantly rushing around, we're actually putting our brain into a frantic state, which in turn makes us more easily tr triggered and then angry. So slow down and take the time to disciple your children the way that God intended. My fourth and final tip to combat mom rage is of course to address the deeper issue, which is to heal the impaired limbic system. I help homemakers do this through Christian brain rewiring practices. 
And also I know the above tips that I gave can honestly seem like impossible when you're in a fight or flight state and experiencing mom rage, but there is a way to alleviate yourself from these gut reactions in the first place. I know from personal experience how difficult it can be to just let go of anger, but what if there was a way to make sure that you just don't have a propensity to be angry? What if you could rewire the anger out of your brain? That's what I teach in my course. In my course, The Transformed Homemakers Society, I use Christian brain rewiring and home management systems to transform your homemaking from drudgery to perfect peace. I provide you with a Christian brain rewiring formula, simplified homemaking rhythms, and I help you create your own family vision, culture, and unique homemaker qualities. And I give you so much more. So click the link below to learn more about that. Okay, so your homemaker homework is to write down three ways that you plan to connect more with your children this week and then plug those into your planner so that you actually do them. And then see how this changes the tone of your home already. My last little note is that children are so forgiving and God gives us his new mercies every morning. We serve a God of redemption, and I know he will use this trial to redeem your relationship with your children. I know that because he's done this for me. So if you feel the Lord leading you to a transformation with my help, I hope that you consider taking my free workshop using the link below. It's my five-step framework for overworked and overwhelmed homemakers. Just click the link in the description below to sign up for your spot.